Well, hello there, YTPC friends. This is Pipecat, or at least Pipecat's belly and Pipecat's paws. And uh, today, I'm going to show you the next installment in the Porch Plantation Project. Pipecat's Porch Plantation Project. Let me introduce to you Mr. Empty Cheap Plastic Pot. Perfect for growing tobacco. And let me introduce you to the not so tiny Mr. Shirazi Turkish. Um, I'm just going to show you maybe maybe one or two um, of repots just to give you some idea how it's going to go because there are, are many and I'm not going to fill them all. Um, I certainly uh, I certainly don't have the uh, disc space or uh, with a speaking voice to last that long. So, here's what we're going to do. We are going to put Mr. Shirazi here into Mr. Pot here. And the way we are going to do it is using a small sampling of soil that I have already pre-prepared here. That's the same soil that he has potted in right now. The seedlings were started in peat moss. And when they grew large enough, I seeded them, as you saw in my last video on this, into on top of uh, this soil with just a little bit of extra peat moss around them, whatever, till they started taking hold. And this is what happened. As you can see, more than one plant has taken root here. Specifically in this one, there are two. And uh, really, I don't know that both will be viable. I mean, they look good, you know, as plants, but I'm gonna have to uproot that because I can't have two plants that are going to be very large growing that close to each other. I don't want to break the root ball because that would kill both plants. I may need to sacrifice one of them, the one that's more loosely rooted, which is the one I'm holding here. I may have to. I'm going to see if I can dig down a little bit and get it out of there, but it seems unlikely without hurting the other one. Uh, I don't know if you can actually reroot one of these in water. I've never actually tried that. I've got some sand in my slipper. There you go. All right, so. What we're going to do is we're going to line the bottom of this pot with some sort of a filtration medium to keep the dirt from falling out that is still thin enough and compressible enough to allow water to flow up because these get watered from below. These are good. This is going to sit in a tray. The tray is going to get watered. And then uh, this will allow enough to soak in. As you can see, I'm using, this is actually a seat cushion. This is some some sort of polyester fiber that the dirt doesn't affect, the water doesn't affect. I've actually reused some of this before. It's that good. And I'm going to put a thin layer at the bottom. It only has to be enough to stop the dirt falling out. And it doesn't have to be pretty. Just to cover up the drain holes in the bottom. Hard to get it to lay flat, but the dirt will flatten that out because that dirt weighs a ton. All right. Just going to have to overlap them a little bit because I can't seem to get them side by side. So let's just do that and do this and hope for the best. Some's going to come out, you know that, but let's give it a shot. We're going to start with a little bit of soil. This soil is a little hard, got a lot of clay in it, and it's still moist. So you've got a few stones in it, but oh well. I'm using this transfer container because the big bag of dirt is just too big to have in here. I hope you're seeing this, okay? Just enough to give it a base. Pat it down so that it compresses the filtration medium on the bottom. Very little came through. That's good. That's a start. The idea now is we've got to break the cup away and plant the plant in the middle. I'll probably leave both of those plants together until I see which one starts fighting the other one. If they're both growing equally well, I'll see if they're able to grow together. If one starts choking, I'll pluck the choked one. Okay. So what we do in a case like this 
The reason why I use these cups is because you can split them. That cup will split right to the bottom. You seeing that? And it'll break away like an eggshell. This is the first one I'm doing, by the way. So you're watching the experiment. My little Shirazi Turkish here. They're a little wet. I just watered them. This dirt inside here is not a real tight root ball, so I have to be careful how I handle it. It will fall apart somewhat. Here's where the tricky stuff comes in. Tobacco leaves stick to everything like glue. Even you. So what we do is try and get that root ball out of there. Wow, that's really crumbly. This is just going to transfer. Whoops. Oops, oops. Yep, that's what I feared. The root ball came to pieces. And the plants came out. Well, that could be a good thing. This is my opportunity to separate them. Yeah, look at that. Nice. Okay, good. Worked out better than I had hoped. We're going to take one out and leave one in. And both have roots. Both have viable roots. Not much. They don't need much. When they get larger, they'll have huge roots. I'm just going to lay that gently aside. And this one will get planted here. Now comes the dirty work. Put a little in. Get it around the plant. These plants are going to look wilty for a few days. They're going to be shocked because they're getting... It's the same kind of dirt, but it's not the exact dirt with the pH level that they're used to. I want to stand it up a little bit. I have bamboo rods to hold these up with, and they will come next. Now, I don't want that plant to be too far down in this pot. You know why? Because then it won't be in enough dirt to throw down roots. I should have probably, if I would known that root ball was going to come apart like that, I'd have probably filled it up more first. And I still can. This is not really anchored to anything. I could do that. Let's see if we can do it safely. Get up under the plant. Don't break the root. I think I'm able to do this okay. All right, there you go. There's, there's what root ball it had. So, let's start again. Make a little hole for that sucker. A wide hole because when the plant lies in it, we're going to sift it onto the plant so that it begins to build up instead of compressing that root ball in one place. I'm actually going to hold this plant kind of up in the air as I do this. That is all the soil that was in that, that big jar there, that tub. And this plant is now sitting in relatively dry soil. And I'm going to put a little more around it, but that's the general idea. I'm going to let that sit for a second, and I'm going to pause you. Ready and unpause. This, this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and this is a bamboo plant support rod. It is 30 inches long, and the reason why you use bamboo is this kind of dirt will only partially erode that. It really won't damage it. This will hold up and stay standing. I'm going to put this down in that dirt to the side of the plant, long before it ever has any root purchase there, so that when the roots do grow, they'll grow around that thing. The next step is going to be now... Let's see what I do here so you can see better. This gets tossed, but I'm going to keep it out for now so I remember that that's a Shirazi. The next step is going to be 
put that in the line of sight there. The next step is going to be to get more soil and build it up around this plant. These plants are very tough. I have said before and I'll say again, tobacco plants are basically like weeds. They grow like weeds. They're as hardy as weeds. This plant will wilt by tomorrow and look like a piece of spinach laying there. It's going to look pathetic. And I'm going to put a little water from below until it comes up. And when the plant senses that, it's going to start rerooting. And it's going to be about a week before it looks this healthy again. And then it's just going to start taking off. So let's, uh, let's aim for that. That's going to be the next step. So I'm going to do that about maybe, oh, I don't know, 30 more times today, hopefully. And um, I'm waiting for the, uh, the large square plastic trays that these are all going to sit in out on the porch. I was going to use this tarp right here. I was going to use this tarp and make a makeshift tray of the entire porch. But I thought about it. In time and with walking on it, it's going to get holes in it and things like that. And it's not going to be as retentive as I want it to be. So I'll keep that uh, for an emergency measure, that tarp. And for now, I'm just going to use it kind of what it was intended for. It's sort of like a, a drop rag to catch my dirt here. I have to get this guy rooted before he starts getting too tired. And that's going to be the rest of my day. I'll show you guys a shot once I get a nice representation of a few pots going and you'll get an idea. So thanks for tuning in to Pipe Cat's Porch Plantation Project. I forget which installment this is, but um, I'll be back at you with more when I get more progress. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.